Hey, this is Corey from Wolfpack Woodcraft, and a lot of you follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. You know that I've recently made a large purchase, uh, and that I am a big fan of the BK9. I've said it a lot of times about how if I had to go into unfamiliar woods and I was only allowed to bring one knife, this is the knife I would bring uh, because it's so versatile. It's big enough to baton larger pieces of wood. It's heavy enough to chop, do chopping tasks. Uh, it's, it's balanced enough to do finer work. There's just a lot I like about the BK9. And I think it just got replaced. Today I received a Vengeful One. This is the uh, Bark Rivers Vengeful One. It's a JX5. It's number. F it's the fifth design in Chris Tanner's Jessica X series, and I love it. It is an amazing blade. Uh, I I have the Tiger Stripe G10 handles. So it's a Tiger Stripe G10. It's a CPM 3V steel. Uh, it's got a sharp spine for striking a ferro rod or wood processing. It's got a three position handle. So you got a finger groove here. And then that finger groove kind of acts like a guard for the second grip. And then you have this big sweeping hook here to lock your hand in in the third position. So you have the third position, the second position, and then the third position. And it's just crazy the difference these hand positions make, right? So when you're in this forward finger groove position, it, it balances very, very well. It's still a little blade heavy, blade heavy because of this big belly. And so it's still a little blade heavy, but it's still very balanced. I really feel I can do a lot of fine tasks with this blade without fatiguing my hand. And then when you go down to the second position, it's got a nice palm swell here. I don't know how well the camera's picking this all up, but it's got a nice palm swell. And so when you're in that second position, it just, it, it changes the knife. Like, I, I, I don't feel like I can still do those fine casts anymore. It feels more like a small machete, right? It feels like I'm gonna go into the jungle, hack vines and, you know, it's, it, it, it does. It just, it completely transforms the blade from a five, six inch knife feel to a small machete uh, type feel and then with this sweep here my three fingers fit in there perfect and then it becomes a chopper it even gets that negative angle for chopping and the, the belly is that sweet spot and it just you can feel all the weight when you're back here you can feel the weight of the blade and you can feel how how big the knife really is when you're back here. And so, yeah, this is this is a great great knife. It's completely an impulse buy. Uh, okay, so the story is, is I was this is a Chris Tanner from Prepared Mind 101 Design, and he put out a new video saying that the new run was out and you have to order quick because they sell out so fast you know so I was just plain make-believe really I was going and I was looking at the knives and looking at the costs and wishing I'd be able to afford one someday and all the reviews on this knife have a black handle and I'm more of a black handle kind of guy I like that traditional black handle uh, it's just more visually appealing to me. You know that old traditional black handle look? But Chris Tanner has an orange handle. 
and the orange handle is so that if he drops it or if he leaves it in a log or a stump he can see it so that he doesn't lose his knife or forget his knife and uh, so I was thinking to myself I was like if, would I if I was gonna spend this kind of money would I spend it on a black handle and get something that's more visually appealing to me uh, that I would love you know or would I get something that's more practical because if I'm going to spend that money, I don't want to lose it. I don't want to drop it and have to look for it. I, It's a lot more practical to have that orange handle. And then, like, as I was in this dilemma, uh, it recommended this knife to me. The JX5 Vengeful One with the Tiger Stripe handle. And I bought it. It's I think this is beautiful. I think it's just gorgeous. And it gives me that orange handle. It's still going to be easy to see if I drop it or if I leave it in a stump or something. It's still going to give me, It's. I think it's beautiful. It's still visually appealing to me. And it's still got that orange uh, that makes it stand out. And oh, I, I, I love this knife. I can't wait to get it into some wood. Uh, I'm going to... I'm not going to take this into the backyard and use it. I'm actually going to go into the woods when I first test this knife. Uh, I'm going to do I'm going to do it right. I'm not going to I'm not just going to go and try this and try that. I'm going to go out and I'm going to start a fire. I'm going to I'm going to do it right. The thing that I don't like about this knife is the sheath. Uh, I don't like this sheath, not at all, but I'm glad that it comes with a sheath. Uh, a lot of companies, they just sell you the knife and then uh, you have to pay extra for the sheath. It doesn't just come with one. And so I appreciate, because now I can use this knife. I can put it in my backpack. I can put it on my belt. It has loops here to hook it onto a belt. It has holes if you want to uh, make it a dangler somehow that has holes down here if you want to strap it to your leg and so I I have the ability to use this if they just handed me this big chunk of 3b I wouldn't have uh, the way of getting it to the woods to use it you know what I mean and if they would have made a nice kydex sheath for it and it came standard uh, I would have never been able to afford it. I wouldn't have even been able to have the impulse buy because I would never have the money it would take to buy this knife in a good sheath system. So I really appreciate the sheath, but I'm going to be pinching pennies. I'm going to be saving up and I'm going to try to kydex this knife because I think it deserves it. Uh, I think that this truly has replaced my BK9. It's sad to say I'll never get rid of my BK9. We have a lot of history and I really love this knife. But I really think it's been replaced by this. Uh, one modification I would make to the Vengeful One. Uh, I'm not going to make it, but if I design this knife, uh, the back of this handle sweeps up. And so, and then it, that leaves uh, corners here and here. And so when I'm giving it that three finger action, the my three fingers fit in this groove, perfect. That up sweep locks my pinky, which is perfect. But that corner, this back corner here, kind of digs into my hand a little bit as I'm trying to chop. And so, it's, it's a little uncomfortable. It doesn't hurt, you know, and it's not, it's not going to prevent me from doing that. Uh, but it is noticeable. It is there. And so I like how the BK9 handle, it drops off here. It almost like clips off. And so when I have, it has the same up sweep. So I put my three fingers in there. That up sweep locks my pinky. And then this is like a ball. Just it's like having like a little ball in your hand. 
And so when you're chopping that three finger action, there's no hot spots, there's no nothing. And so if I, if I was the one designing it, that's how I would have designed it. I would have just rolled this down into that sweep. But I love this knife. I, I, I still can't wrap my head around the fact that this is mine. Like I don't have to give it back. I don't, I, I, it's mine. The fact that I'm holding one is crazy. And the fact that it's mine is just, it's blowing my mind. It really is. I can't believe I own this. I can't believe I own a knife that's CPM 3V. Uh, so with all that being said, I actually want to know what are your guys' thoughts and opinions on CPM 3V? I've never owned a knife with CPM 3V, so I would like to know what your thoughts and opinions are. Uh, what are your thoughts and opinions on G10 on a large blade? Uh, I upgraded my BK9 to Micarta, and I really like the Micarta handles. But what do you guys think of G10 on larger blades? Let me know in that comment section. Then make sure to like and share this video to help spread that knowledge and those ideas to the people we care about most. And as always, don't forget to subscribe and come join the pack. I have a new video every Sunday and Thursday, and I can't wait to see you on the next one. Thanks, guys. Puppy's waking up. I'm going to go check on her. Thanks, guys.